Hey guys, thanks for checking out this video on the 2012 Ford F-150 Super Cab. It is a four-door extended cab with a 5.0 liter V8 engine, um, and it does have rear, rear wheel drive with the four wheel drive option. So we'll start here in the front, just making note, um, you can see that the beautiful blue metallic color with the um, accents of the silver or chrome. You do have your pulling bars down here in the front with your fog lights. Um, which it has the black accents then around it as well. So it is very sharp um, looking truck. It is F-150 XLT. Looking here, we do guarantee that you have three quarter tread depth or better, which I will go over with you on the inspection checklist that is um, located on the passenger side in the glove box. Can see here that it does have running boards as well as the mirrors that have the reflectors on the side. Um, and then you'll have your flashing lights down here for your turn signal. Looking on the interior here, you can see that Ford 2012 is still in very good condition. You are going to have the manual adjustments here for your seat as well as in the front. You are going to have the all weather mats, um, so they're much easier to clean or keep clean than the cloth ones, so that's always nice as well. On the passenger side, you are going to have power locks and power windows. And then as I was speaking about that checklist here in the glove box, we'll go ahead and go over that. So you can see here that the tread depths for the front are at 830 seconds and 730 seconds. In the back, you're looking at 830 seconds and then brake pads, you're looking at 15 and 1330 seconds. So not having to worry with that anytime soon, that is all taken care of. You're not going to have to spend any money on it. You are gonna have your owner's manuals here in the glove box then as well. Go ahead and open up the back here. You can see that for the back, you do have powered windows. And then you still have a good bit of leg space for your backseat passengers. Again, still sticking with the um, all weather mats to keep them um, nice and clean. But cloth seats are in very good condition, um, especially for a 2012, which you would expect to have a lot more of the wear and tear to it. Just looking back up here at the front, you can see that this middle console can fold back with this lever right here. Um, so it does serve as a six seat if need be. Go ahead and get this closed up and make our way around the rest of the vehicle. So you can see here that the bed does have a cover on the back of it. It's in very good condition. Looking at the back, you can also see that this uh, truck does or can use flex fuel. Um, so it will know the difference so you don't have to worry with that. Looking in the back, you can tell that the bed of the truck has been very well um, kept. So you have the cover, the bed liner is in great condition, so no worries with any of that. Looking down here, you can see that it does have the tow hitch then as well, and then the wiring over there. Go ahead and make our way to the driver's side. Again, you can see the running boards down here mirror with the magnifier on the side. It is a Ford, so you obviously have um, your entry code that you can use, so you don't have to worry with ever being locked outside of your vehicle either. Looking here on the driver's side, you can see that you have powered windows and powered locks. Um, you have your mirror setting up here, light settings over here, your emergency brake. And then the side here is actually going to be um, uh, powered so it's not going to be the manual adjustments you are going to have the manual back here but not as far as um, the front and back is concerned so go ahead and hop in get it turned on you do have two keys here so you can see here on the left side of the steering wheel you do have your cruise control settings on the right, you're going to have your Bluetooth and um, media settings. Looking up here, you can see, so like I said, a 2012, it's gonna have just under 94,000 miles on it. Um, so it still has plenty of life left on it. Looking over here is where you're gonna have your four wheel drive options, your two wheel drive high, four high, and four low. You are also going to have um, your trailer brakes down here. It does have AM, FM, and Sirius XM radio on it, um, so you have that option with the CD player. 
Um, down here, you're going to have all of your AC settings, and then you have the US, uh, port, USB port as well as your aux cord. You do have a little bit of a storage compartment down here, but I'll go over some more storage here with you. So you have your cup holders. You have your well here. This will also fold up, as I had previously mentioned, um, to become a sixth seat. But you can also lift this up right here for additional storage down below. Always a nice feature. So just to put it back down, you would push on the button here that is on the side, which is pretty hard to do with a camera in your hand. <laughs> but you just fold it right down. And if I can do it with one hand, it can't be that complicated. Up here, you are going to have two of the sunglass holders or whatever you would decide you would like to store up there. You do have your lights. You're also going to have your visor with the mirror. And then you do have a space up here that you can set your phone um, so that it's not sliding around if you would like to set it up there. Now, uh, one last thing just before we get out and go to the last part of the video, um, I will say that we do have the Carfax history report on it. There are no accidents um, or damages that are reported for the vehicle and it has um, three registered owners. But again, 2012 is to be expected. Um, now, the vehicle does have some wear and tear on it as far as the interior is concerned, but definitely not what I would expect for a 2012. More so just light staining. So I'll go ahead and point that out to you. So right here, you can just see that there's just some scratch marks here on the door. And then there's just some light staining here on the driver's side seat. Um, other than that, there's not much. I showed you the back seats, um, so I didn't notice anything there. Um, but just like I said, just some typical wear and tear for a 2012 vehicle. The outside overall is in good condition. Main things that I would note is just the running board over here. It does have some spots on it. But making our way around, I mean, a couple of chips right in through there. You can see the stone chips. Coming around the front. Nothing major is sticking out to me. Just, again, some couple chips in there. Some spotting on the back of the mirror. This running board looks a lot better. You can just see a small spot there, small spot back there. But overall, great condition for a 2012. So, if you're looking for a car that is under that 100,000 um, mark, decent price range, um, but will get you what you need to use a truck for, um, as far as the four wheel drive, hauling, you know, you have the, the uh, running boards, you have the bed cover. This could be a great option for you. Phone number, 717-485-4224. Uh, Check us out online at www.allthingsautomotive.com or come down and visit the showroom at 21518 Great Cove Road in McConnellsburg, Pennsylvania. Thank you.